friend, it's Pat Sloan here on this Monday. So today it is Earth Day. I just adore Earth Day. Someday I'd like to have some sort of big quilt to celebrate Earth Day. I don't, I don't know what that would look like, but I always have that in the back of my mind. I do have a very small six inch block dedicated to Earth Day. And so I'm gonna show you the block first. <laughs> I think last year I couldn't find the quilt or I couldn't figure out where it was. But this year, there it is. So this block right here is an Earth Day block that I designed uh, in during the Splendid Sampler, which is what this is, the Splendid Sampler Quilt Along. So it's an embroidery. There are two different Earth views. I just did two. Um, the other side has Australia because when I did the Splendid Sampler, my um, book partner is Jane Davidson and uh, my co-author and so she uh, lives in Australia so we did I did both sides uh, and I had so much fun with that kind of planet fabric out here and then this fabric has little houses and villages now this particular quilt if when I when this quilt along was going on I took these blocks they were single blocks just a stack of single blocks with me when I traveled to teach and so many of you had an opportunity to see these actual blocks when I was traveling because during the quilt along it was a worldwide extravaganza it was quite the thing to you know because we had 100 designers and a hundred blocks well not quite a hundred designers because Jane and I did several of the blocks and uh, we wrote a book but it was free and uh, then when the book came out and you all were wonderful and you bought the book uh, so in the description box below is a link and at my website today a link to this um, Earth Day block and the Splendid Sampler book and remember my publisher closed so any books you find are a reseller and um, you know they won't be around forever so if you really want it you get it now 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 okay so here it is this is what I would call this calls my like taffy version I think it looks like beach taffy I don't know it looks very um, uh, like sugary sweet yeah <laughs> like cotton maybe cotton candy but I always call it sort of taffy It's like my taffy version and I had so much fun so much fun there's so many different things in here really cute things I think what I'll do is I'll put it on the design wall and get the other camera and I'll just pan along and show you a few of the blocks I don't even think I can get far away enough but I really need to have this one quilted because I love it so much and I don't think I want it any bigger because it's a really great wall hanging so I can enjoy it but some of these blocks were free blocks and some were like the Earth Day was a free block but then so was I believe the bunnies at the time was free this one was designed by somebody's son her, his her little boy I drew this out and then we got permission from her and her son to draft it as a free pattern um, and then others were of course in the program like this one here was from Amy Cinebaldi uh, and um, you know, this is the first block, which was mine, but there were so many fun things. This is from Ann Sutton of Bunny Hill, of course, the bunny. Then we did a birthday cake, got a little rickrack on there, uh, the coffee cup. It was from somewhere. I don't know where, but it was not in, that cup was not in the book. So there's a lot of things like that. This was from Carrie Nelson, uh, it's called Jersey Girl Block because her mom was a Jersey girl and I found this awesome fabric at the time. So there's just all kinds of cute things. Here is a little panda fabric. I did a clothesline with the pillowcases on it. Um, just this is from Michelle Muska, a good friend of mine who is part of the pro of the uh, quilt along. I believe this is Victoria Finley Wolf, and uh, that is her fabric. And so, and then it's so cute, right? I just used all kinds of really fun fabrics. I designed this one, uh, and ah, uh, so fun. Look here, fruit gum, the yeah just everything about it this whole thing was magical the whole the whole quilt along was magical and there's just so many fun fun things to look at the coffee cup in there this was one of my blocks again oh this was my block this one wasn't mine this was, was um, Melissa oh I can't think of her last name right now but this one was mine they kicked it off I got mixed up on the hearts 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 uh, so so fun 
there you've seen the shamrock the shamrock and then here look I had the little shoes and the be so happy that was one of my fabric lines so just really really fun and I love doing this one with all the different red turquoise uh, fabrics cool 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 beans so happy to get this out and show it to you I do I do need to get it quilted I just don't know if I want to pay to have it custom quilted or just um, yeah just do an overall which would really be good because it's so busy there's so much going on and it's just for my enjoyment so whenever I get this out I really enjoy looking at everything it is just so fun to really look through it again uh, one day I'll have it quilted like I said and every time I get it out I'm like oh I need to get it quilted and then I'll hang it periodically uh, <laughs> right now it lives on the shelf of tops that I am keeping <laughs> the, the, that shelf that shelf okay so today is also besides Earth Day it is also jelly bean day so if, if you have a quilt with earth things or a quilt with jelly beans who knows could be jelly bean fabric but I'd really be interested in your Earth Day quilts if you have done an Earth Day quilt I think um, taking care of our earth is so so important uh, and anything that we can do to promote that to ourselves take care of our earth is just something we we should be doing we should be doing so uh, okay so what else do we have today uh, heart and heart of America I'm going to finish that center I'm going to show you at all I have all all the little bitty stars we are smooth sailing from here on out <laughs> So they're a little bit, everything's just a little bit bigger than this, which is nice. Uh, so I'm going to do all of this today to get that center done. And then it's also Millie Day, and we're going to pick that little inner border. So I think what we're going to do is Millie first. So the Millie, the Millie's dress is all four rows are done for mine. And now this little color here is what I'm going to pick, uh, that little inner border. Lay it down, Pat, lay it down. So like wherever I have like the collars uh, and the waistband, that is my fabric line. The dresses are t some Tilda fabric. And so let me hold it up so you can see it before I put it on the wall. Ta-da! Oh, they're so cute. So sweet. Yours are just so amazing. I did a quilt parade on some of yours the other day. So I hope you... Uh, you watch that so you can go back and watch it I don't know might have been Monday since it's Millie Monday or it may have been last Tuesday because I think I didn't have a video Monday so there we go um, now here is what I have let me show you the colors this is the color range the blue the teal what this shade of purple green or this shade of purple there's two like a more pinky purple here looks looks like fuchsia right a little, little bit more fuchsia more pink uh, so what I'm going to do is I will put the fabric underneath and or yeah underneath it and then we'll see how it looks did I put oh yeah I did put the sides so yeah so I'll put it underneath and then I'll take the other camera and we'll just see how everything looks see which one looks best first option is the darker purple which is used in like this green dress right there uh, and that that one right there so that would be here then we would have the border which I think I'll stick that up for the rest of them one border and then it would be binding so I would put use binding and I have enough of any of them to do both that inner border like this strip and binding so let's look at the other colors there is another sashing white sashing that goes in here so this does not this inner border does not touch that pieced out of order so there's the blue and I've used the blue that was on this one down here uh, so you can see how the blue looks there's the teal the teal is used like in that yellow dress there this greeny yellow dress same up at the top that's kind of nice so that's the fuchsia and Everly it, that gives a little bit more of a pop I think I think the blue did as well now the green I'm going to show you the green but it's really not going to be the one I use it's going to be dulled down I think the green is a, is fairly dark reading but we'll look 
and there's the green so that was used in that dress up there and I'm sure I think almost all of them in the dress down here two of two at least two it just um it's not the best option so I'm thinking either this fuchsia the fuchsia or the blue you know and everything is blue there's so much blue I'm thinking this one I'm just gonna go for that one so I'm actually going to I'm gonna sew that on there okay it gets kind of exciting I've got all of the the fuchsia on here and now I'm doing the last two of the white um, borders and so one of the things is that I like to do where's the border go here <laughs> is I do like to measure sort of where the center is. So these two are right sides together and I've already got it folded at a center. You know, and that kind of helps with if you have to ease in just a little bit, you know, because things happen, things happen, and sometimes you have to ease in a little bit. And so for the other side, I will do the same, you know, for the quilt itself, the quilt with the sashing. Oop, move this here. Is just find where the center is and then mark it so that I can match center to center, end to end, and then pin between them. So that's, that's how I like to approach borders. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you do it like this? Here we go. So I've got the pin for the quilt side, the pin for the border. There's a lot of borders on here. This next, next border would be the piece border that we'll do next week. Okay, so I've got them pinned. I've got the pin to pin, and then I will come down to the end, um, pin in between. So that way, if there's any fullness, I can ease it and plus there's always kind of like a little tip that says if one of these sides is a little fuller than the other which for me is probably the quilt side this oh, this looks pretty darn good it looks pretty darn good good but it could be a tiny bit full you want to put bigger on the bottom bigger on the bottom so if it feels like it's you're having to maybe ease it a teeny tiny bit so with this part on the top and the one that's a little bit fuller needs a little easing put it on the bottom, bigger on the bottom, Bob, 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 remember that. So I've got all the borders, the, the um, fuchsia and this outer border. Okay, so the, the light now, this time of day, comes like streaming in here, because it's lower. Uh, later in the summer, it'll be different, but I don't feel like closing the blinds, so you're just gonna, this is just the lighting that's here now. <laughs> this is the way it is. There we go. Ta-da, ta-da. So, oh, I love it. I love that fuchsia. I want it, I think that needs that little, even though they're very dark fabrics, it just gives a little sparkle uh, that some of the others didn't do. So, okay. All right, so next week, which will be on Tuesday, I will put this border all around, this border all around. And then there actually is another border and I'm not sure I will do the full width of that one. See, there's a whole nother white border on the outside. And I might cut that down a little bit just so it's not quite so big a quilt. Um, we'll see. We will see. We will see. Okay, the other thing is I, when I was the other day working with these shoe flies, shoe fly blocks, I then, uh, I just was messing around with them and filmed a little bit about that so let me let me show you so for these guys up there I went rooting around to see what I could find see if I could find some half square triangles in navy first and so I went to my part center container over here this guy that I keep up on the shelf and I pulled out the whole navy bag and I found I found these four of them yay so that's one two three four this is five six seven so I need seven total these these are something else they're green they're not I, I could maybe trim two down I mean trim some down we'll think we'll think we'll think so I found these two but there's no partners like there's aren't any more 
and so since I have to sew them anyways and I, I kind of want them to be the same this fabric to be the same I then went in my scrap bag the real you know scrappy stuff I'm not going to keep I give the scrap bags away to the charity groups um, I, this is this will work this will work I could I only need one square off of here and I could do a second one of those okay so that means I have to find two more so it'd be one two three four five six seven yeah two more I need two more sets so I will go look in green in the parts bin and see if the gold in the parts bin let me look the parts bin lives here this bin right here and what have I got that's red and this has got fall colors I don't know if I'll see a gold in here I don't seem to have one that's green do I have parts in something else oh not there Oh, I think I, I sent, oh, that's right. I sent, I gave some parts away. That's, that's fine. That's fine. <gasps> Look, are these big enough? <gasps> Cause they can be the black. They can be like the black. I think, let me just open one. Cause there's a bunch. There's a bunch. Hallelujah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see if I can make them. Let's see if I can make them the same fabric. One, two three one how many two two sets two sets one two three there we go three one two three 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 the magic number three okay so i have those two i have that pile one two three four five six seven and then i will make one set more of this yes yes parts center to the rescue Woo -hoo. okay <laughs> <laughs> the little things that make us happy. The little things. Finding the right color. Have square triangles already made. It's fun to tape like that when I'm working where I'm not trying to, like today, I'm, I'm sewing the millies and talking about a lot of stuff and putting it as kind of the, the main thing for one whole video, you know, rather than having, then, then adding in those little segments. So let me know in the, in the YouTube comments, whether you like seeing those little segments from here and there. Uh, so today to wrap up, you know, I'm not going to get all of Heart of America sewn. Um, I also had to close the blind because I actually couldn't even see the screen. <laughs> it was so the sun, the sun's crazy nice I love it but I don't like closing the screen but I had to okay so heart of America we have some sections to do to get all the stars and I'm just gonna show you that but not sew it tomorrow I will sew it because just like you some things evolve and you sew over several days you don't get a chance to like sit down and sew all of it at once um, that would be wonderful, but it doesn't always happen like that, does it? So you're going to have a couple of units that will end up being like this with two stars and a little skinny piece and a long piece underneath. And then you'll have some units that are like this. And, you know, so I might sew a little bit of this here, not, not on camera, but sew it to show you tomorrow. So I have them all. And then I've got the star here. I mean, the heart rather, the heart is here and that goes all these units then go around around the heart remember this is a free pattern from the fat quarter shop which is so wonderful and i wore my star today even though i didn't sew much or talk much about this one i did wear that this is from my um sloan zone merchandise store so you can get a star a quilted star if you like Okay, so just like you, things come up, and I just thought I'd tell you that tonight we have our, we're going to dinner with my dad and his wife. They invite us to come with them because they have a favorite restaurant that after 18 years, the owners have retired. Uh, they want to travel. Owning a restaurant probably means very little travel for the owners. It's a, it's a crazy business. And so they're going to travel. Um, they're retiring, but the, the restaurant, they did not sell it. It's closing. So there will be a new restaurant there. They've already organized that. New, new people have uh, rented the space. Uh, we'll have a different kind of a restaurant though, not the same one. So my dad and his wife really enjoyed the food at this place and wanted to go experience it one more time. And it's only open until next week. So they managed to get a reservation for 8 p.m. So <laughs> we're going to dinner at 8 p.m., which 
I have gone to dinner many, many times in my life at 8 p.m. This is not a problem, but not recently. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I have to go, I have to get ready. Get ready to go to dinner. It's kind of a nice place. So I need to, I, I already got my makeup on. <laughs> All right, my friend. Tomorrow is Tuesday video. I don't know what's on there, except that I do know I will sew this center. Where, where is the whole picture? I will sew the center. That'll be accomplished tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. So I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.